What's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another squad builder of mine. We've been going through quite a few of these. Usually it would be a top four of this league or that league but uh, don't worry I'm going to keep doing those. You guys seem to really enjoy those so uh, yeah I'm going to keep doing those but today I was uh, messing around with silver teams and it came to my mind I don't think I have shown a silver team that I've used in absolutely ages. So of course me and Toby do use a silver side for our um, Tramps to Champs which will be coming back shortly guys. Uh, me and Toby have just had really weird schedules. He's been away or he's been busy. I've been busy, you know, that sort of thing. So, uh, when we're free and which will hopefully be tomorrow, we'll be able to record some good stuff for you chaps. And, uh, you'll also see some two girls, one series back on his channel. So, um, yeah, we're here today to show this silver team goodness. So, uh, first off, we better change this to uh, silver and, uh, the league it is a hybrid between a, a Liga BBVA side and a Bundesliga. Now those are two really, really strong leagues. This guy right here, now a few of the names I'm not even going to try and pronounce because it would be absolutely terrible, but he has a huge amount of overall total stats, so that's why I ended up going with him. He's okay, but what I found is most silver goalkeepers are just an absolute mess in this game. Next up, we actually have Kala. Now, this is the only non-rare silver that is going to be in this particular squad, but his overall total stats, again, were just insane, and for that reason, he is in the squad. Now, um, just so you guys know, this is like the best silver team in my personal experience. There are so many different uh, varieties of silver teams that you guys can make. And of course, it's all down to your personal opinion. So just because I say it's the best one doesn't mean it is for, you know, you or your friend or whatever. So just keep that in mind. Anyways, right back, we got Cicino. And again, um, plays for the same club as Kala as well. So uh, yeah, Cicino is actually a pretty fast uh, right back too. 85 pace. And all of these players are relatively cheap. I'll, I'll point out the ones that are a little bit more expensive but uh yeah our next up one is a uh Bayern Munich center back this guy is massive let me check his height yeah six foot five this guy is huge like literally gigantic he's not exactly the quickest but uh, you know for a six foot five player to have 72 pace that is pretty decent so uh you know him and Kala do a very good job especially when it comes to headers inside the opponent's box a little bit talking about uh talk about the defensive headers in just a bit but uh at left back I actually went with Rausch and Rausch actually is a really good pick up. You can go with Pandare too, but I decided I wanted to try this lad out, and he is actually really solid. Um, he whips in some beautiful crosses as well into the box, so yeah, definitely happy with that pickup. Next up, we have arguably the weaker link of this team, and the reason why is because Prib isn't actually naturally a center defensive midfielder. He plays naturally as a center midfielder, or I'd even be tempted to play him as an attacking mid, but I wanted to play him at center defensive mid, and it actually works out pretty well. It's just that sometimes when it does come down to his defensive duties, he can be a bit lackluster. So keep that in mind. You might want to swap him out. But that is that. Over at left mid, we have the infamous S-Vine. S-Vine is just a monster in this game. Again, uh, I personally think if you guys are just mega, mega S-Vine fans, then you're probably better off playing something like a 4-3-3 and playing him at a left wing position. He'll do so much better for you there. But uh, he's still really good at left mid. He just doesn't get uh, as involved as he would if he was a uh, center attacking, or sorry, a uh, left winger. Anyways, next up, we have the camp position and the camp position goes to this chap here Troshkrovsky damn that that's pretty intense that name but uh, the reason why this team works out is because he is like the middle ground to this team as you guys can see he plays in the BBVA but he's also German so he links up with the uh, German players in the team so we've got him and then a right midfield we have Jeffren here he's other card I believe plays for sporting I, I don't hold me to that but I'm pretty sure his other card uh, there's two versions of it I think his other one plays for sporting Lisbon, but don't quote me on that. Um, yeah, and he's actually really good as well. I really like him at right midfield, so uh, definitely happy with picking him up. Now, the two very expensive players on this team are, of course, the Strike Force, and the Strike Force is what makes this team what it is. At striker, we have the man himself, Jesse Rodriguez. This guy is a monster. I believe he has an upgraded gold card, but his silver card is just bananas. It is so, so good. This guy it literally makes this team what it is. Then we have the other half half to this duo is Malapa. Now, to anyone who's played with Malapa, you'll know he is so, so strong. He is so tall at six foot four as well. I mean, I'm six foot two and I think I'm relatively, or maybe I'm six foot three, but I think I'm relatively tall. So a six foot four, his strength is ridiculous too. I guess the downside to him is he only has three star skills, but Jesse Rodriguez has four star skills and four star weak foot. And overall, this team is just insane. Now, um, there are uh, the three players that probably cost you quite a bit. This lad here, Jesse Rodriguez, Malapa, and of course, S1 there. 
They're the ones that are going to set you back quite a bit. But overall, this team is a lot of fun. Now, we're going to quickly head on over to check out a few of the goals that I scored while playing with this team. So, guys, like I said, this is, in fact, a few of the goals that I scored with the team. It is actually a really fun team to play with. And like I said from the beginning of the uh, squad builder is that this Jesse Rodriguez lad is just ridiculous. I just don't know how he is a silver player with these sort of stats. Like I said, he has an upgraded gold card. And right there, that somehow became a penalty. I wasn't complaining. And one thing I have to admit, though, is with silver teams. Now, this has been bugging me quite a bit, is that these silver teams seem to just lose brain cells yeah I, i've said it before i'll say it again if i was one of these silver players you know in real life i would be like ea are you taking the piss out of me i am not that retarded they just seem to fall over each other they can't seem to complete a pass there is a lot of frustrating things about it but overall this team seems to eliminate quite a bit of that there's still of course still sometimes ea is just like nope this is just the way the cookie is going to crumble and you guys have to kind of deal with that at times but uh, most of the time it's really good one bad thing i have to say though is that malapa has an awful passing for some reason if you're trying to set up a nice sort of goal, trying to play a nice ball through with Malapa, it's just not going to happen. Don't waste your time. Just try and run through and bully people off because that's what he's really good at. But uh, yeah, another thing is, guys... Um, if you would like any coins, check out the foot shop. Their link will be down below, of course. And I say that just as, uh, I think that's, uh, Priba, or however you say his name, I forgot now. Um, his, uh, long shot is just filthy. I believe he's left-footed as well, so, uh, keep that in mind. But yeah, like I said, the foot shop coins will be down below. And, uh, if you guys buy any coins, make sure you use the, uh, code giveaway. Because at the end of the week, they're doing a 1 million coin giveaway, uh, to anyone who has purchased coins in the recent week. So, feel free to get involved in that. I thought that was pretty generous of them. So, uh, yeah, do go ahead and do that more details in the description but uh, yeah these are just some of the goals I scored they are really nice and here you go S1 picks up a goal on his left foot finesses it around the keeper at the near post and that is G motherfucking G so I hope you guys did all enjoy this and if you guys want to go ahead and create this squad you're more than welcome to let me know how you guys get on and even so let me know who what what your favorite silver team is this is my favorite silver team I hope you guys have had, had a fantastic day I'm off to go to the casino and hopefully do relatively well but it usually bot fucks me. So I'll catch you guys in a bit. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.